Welcome back. Chuck here with Jenkins Boat Works. We're working on the Haven 12 and a half, have been for three years. We're getting there. It's uh, really starting to look complete and I'm very happy about it. Um, each and every little job is just the next task in, in an overall completion and, and we're starting to get there. Um, with the decks complete, it really looks like it looks like looks like a boat. My next big task is to uh, try to figure out how to do the combings um, along the shear clamp here, and then up to this carlin that that comes on up to the fore deck. Um, if you know anything about these boats, there's a, there's a rail or a combing that sticks up about four inches off of, the, off of the deck and then comes forward and when it gets to the fore deck here, it actually comes on forward up to, uh, I believe this is frame seven, so about frame six. And there's a post that comes up at an angle and the combing is supposed to come up about five inches off the deck and, it, and so it comes to a point up here. So the trick is to try to figure out how to make a pattern uh, for this. Now I'm reading in the book, Maynard Bray's book, about how to, to uh, fashion the combing and uh, it suggests trying to get it get a pattern made for it before you put the deck on. Um, I haven't done that but I think we're still going to be okay. Um, I was at the hardwood store earlier today down at uh, down in Independence, Independence, Missouri, at Metro Hardwoods, and I was looking at mahogany. And they got a different, a lot of different kinds. There's the sapelli, I think is how you say it. Um, then they've got African and uh, and Honduras. So there are some options as far as what what mahogany we get, and there's some price difference in it. Um, but and I almost bought some, and then I thought, you know, I need to make sure I've got this the way I want it and make a pattern for it before, before spending either 7 or $17 a board foot uh, for, for mahogany. So uh, what has occurred to me, and, and all these things are a long thought process. I've been thinking about this combing for a long time. When I put these carlins in here, these are white oak. Uh, on both sides, and I had steam bed these, and I believe there's an episode uh, some time back of, about steaming these. Uh, and we got these in here, and they look pretty good. They're not exactly symmetrical, and I found that by using my little angle gauge. What I'm seeing, let's say back here, this is 8, 9, 10, frame 11. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a gap in here compared to the way it is on the other side. So this one is more straight up and down compared to the same side on the other side, or the same frame on the other side, and, and, it, and it happens up here too. So like here, real close to the fore deck, if I take and I put that angle guide in there just like that and get it, get it set, and then come over here, right up by the foredeck here, it's off. It doesn't come out as far. It's, it's more straight up and down. So what I'm finding is that back here, I've got more of an angle on this one compared to that one being more straight up and down. And then forward, this is more straight up and down than that is. That's not, not off much, but, but there's probably a quarter of an inch here that's that I'm gonna I think I need to bevel this out because when you go to put these combings on here if they if they don't if they aren't at the same angle I'm afraid it's going to be very noticeable uh, distractingly noticeable so I need to make sure that these these carlins are the same same basic angle or right close before I even try to to figure out how to make a pattern for this. I want it as symmetrical as possible. Uh, this really is a focal point on this boat, the combing is, and so uh, we really got to get it right, but your under, underlaying structure is, is key to, to making sure that we get it right. So 
It is fixable, and the question is how do I go about that? Do I glue in a little piece here and build this up on the bottom half of the carlin here? Or do I take the plane or the sander and just try to, try to get a better edge, thin this out up at the top? I'm tempted to build it up at the bottom because these pieces on the deck are symmetrical. So if I take off much here, that's not going to make this look the same as that. So I'm thinking I'll probably build this up on the inside here. Now, back here, I should be able to just sand this off and get it a little flatter to match that side over there. So anyway, we'll just keep using the angle tool and, and figure out how to do that. Um, I did stop by Lowe's and I bought a full sheet of quarter inch, just cheap quarter inch plywood. It's $15 for a sheet. And I'm going to cut that up into some, some pieces to make my pattern uh, once I get these, get these figured out. So uh, this is going to be a bit of a process and I expect this particular part of this to maybe take a couple of episodes as far as the video is concerned. So uh, stick with us and uh, we'll press on with this and see if we can't get these symmetrical and then we'll go from there. So anyway. Stay tuned. We'll I decided to make a little thin angled piece of oak to put on that uh, port side uh, forward part of the carlin. You can see that I used the bevel gauge to determine the angle, adjusted the uh, table on the bandsaw, and then I was able to cut out a little piece that had at least most of the angle already in it. So I had always really kind of questioned um, how similar these two carlins were, and I knew that they were off a little bit. You could just tell looking at them. I always liked the starboard one better. Um, it just looked like it flowed the way it was supposed to. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to fare this one out to match that one. So as I was showing, I'm using my bevel tool. This is the bevel angle from this corner up here. So when I put this on here, um, it's sticking out further than the bottom of this does. So I've created this little piece of oak and I put it on the bandsaw to get most of the shape and then I've been running it through the on the belt sander. Man, it will get hot if you push down too hard on it. But anyway, um, got it sanded pretty good. Now the other thing I noticed is when I get about halfway on this piece here toward the end of the, the foredeck, Right about here, um, it's it, it flattens out on this other side. So I want it to flatten out on this side. So what I've done is I feathered this end to where it's just barely got anything. So when I put this on here, I'm just going to glue this on here just like that, and that should make me pretty much symmetrical with the front end over there. And then the only other thing I got to do is I got to sand down a little bit back here up the bottom part and we should be real close so uh, I'm gonna glue this in clamp it down and then um, we start worrying about figuring out how to cut out some template out of plywood for what will be the what will be the combings or the pattern for them. so anyway every little problem is fixable that's what that story is Looking for an opportunity to use this. It's a compass plane my wife got me for Christmas. It's got a, a curved, curved edge on it. It's perfect for this. sander but it was giving me a hump taking it out of there
still got a hump. That's better right there. We were good at frame um, nine. We were fine. Back, see that's really close. Almost. So I was always really pretty happy with the shape of the starboard side, and uh, it just had nice a nice flow to it. So basically, we just made our modifications on the port side to uh, make it look as similar and as symmetrical to the starboard side. You can see this little piece that I glued in up here at the front that gives me the additional angle there. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like the video and subscribe. Also, there's a new Haven 12 and a half group on Facebook as well as Jenkins Boatworks. Look for us there. See ya.